claim to be the creator, but I'm a savior. I take the strange variables of human life and make something out of the crazy quilt that saves hundreds of lives. Joker, uh, folia do, or do, or do, ducks, however the fuck you say it. Ugh. Man, I wanted to like this movie, because everyone has been bad-mouthing it for the past week, and it hadn't even come out. I don't like it. No, sir, I don't like it. Let me first start off by saying that the cinematography is amazing. There are some amazing shots in this movie, very artistic. Some of the lighting, the colors, the imagery, it's just great. I loved it. I mean, I, that kind of stuff, I, I was great, 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 great. The acting was good for, you know, what they each person was there to do, you know. Um, I really can't say anything bad about the fucking acting. Uh, Joaquin did Arthur Fleck and Joker good and Gaga did Harley Quinn or Lee as it, they say in this movie she did her good you know I'm not gonna bash on any of the actors they were all really good now where the movie fucking fails is really the story this would be sort of a semi spoiler review because the movie to me honestly was fucking boring and way too damn long for what they did for this movie for, if, if this is what the movie they wanted to do, it's too damn long. It, it should have been shorter. It wasn't as much of a musical as I thought it was going to be, thank God. I think some of it was forced. Some of it, the music was subtle. But other stuff was forced, I feel like, oh, let's just take advantage that Lady Gaga's in this fucking movie. Uh, that's one thing that bothered me about it. But let me let me get into the spoilers. I'll t tell you about that part in a bit. The movie starts off, uh, Arthur is in jail. And it's Arthur, it's not the Joker. He's no longer confident or anything because they don't let him put on makeup or anything like that. And everybody picks on him in jail. Everybody picks on him and calls him a loser. And they're trying to get him angry to see if he kills anybody. But he's just, you know, he's a loser and he's just scared. And he's just there like a loser. She's, he's gonna go to trial and they wanna give him the death penalty. Harvey Dent is the attorney, district attorney that's trying to get him the chair and shit. And Arthur has a lawyer of his own. Uh, somebody who was appointed to him and she's trying to not coach him but she's kind of in a weird in a very weird way trying to convince him that he has a split personality and that the stuff that he did it wasn't him it was the joker because he's not confident and he's not these things but he did all these things you know as this other person and so that's her defense and that's how she wants to you know obviously not get out of jail but you know so that he doesn't get fucking the the fucking execution for whatever fucking reason that I don't understand Here's a guy who's killed five people, is on trial for fucking murder and shit. Uh, they take him to a place outside of the prison, to a psychiatric ward with other patients. And they take him to a singing class or some bullshit. That's where he meets Lee. I don't like how they meet because he goes up to her and right away she's like, oh, I fucking burnt the, the apartments where my mom lived and I got abused. And, Pretty much just like her whole backstory within like the first two minutes of them meeting. And it's like, wait, slow the fuck down, bro. Like, I didn't like that part. The, the singing and the dancing, a lot of it is in Arthur's head, you know. But when they do sing in the actual real world, it's lame. The only one that sounds good is obviously Gaga. But Joaquin Phoenix does it a few times and he, obviously he's not a good singer. But he's trying to be Arthur, so it's just really weird. But Lee falls in love with him and she tells him like, you know, fucking... I saw your, your the TV movie they made about you like 20 times and, and I idolized you. When I saw you shoot Murray, that guy on live television, you know, I knew that I wasn't alone. And so like now he falls in love with her and they take him back to jail and he's happier and he starts singing and dancing and shit like that. One of the guards lets, him, lets her go visit him during, you know, one of the visits at, in the middle of the night and shit and he's like is this really you how did you get in here and she says oh uh 
I, I, I convinced one of the guards I would do anything for you. Meaning she probably blew someone off or fucking fuck a, a guard to get in there. And, and they have sex. There's a sex scene between them. It's not sexy. It's kind of, it's short. It's disgusting and weird and uh, uncomfortable to say the least. Harvey's story is kind of fucking weird. Like she says that she was abused and all these things. But later on the lawyer tells tells uh, Arthur like she's lying to you and she's rich her mom she lives with her mom and dad and they're rich and she's just spoiled and she's crazy and she checked herself in and she checked herself out she's just obsessed with you and, you know don't listen to her so I don't even know who's telling the fucking truth uh, but somehow Harley is out of the psych ward and she says to Arthur they let me out because you're a bad influence which I don't even know if it's true or not that doesn't make any sense and basically the rest of the movie is a fucking trial a trial talking to characters from the first movie about how much of a loser he is and shit and it was so fucking boring at that point because nothing exciting was happening you know they were just bad mouthing arthur's character and shit and and saying you know he's just a he's a loser and and he did this he knows what he's doing and he wanted to hurt people and shit like that like i said Harley Quinn is hardly in there. You know, they advertise her so much in the fucking trailer and the whole posters and shit, but she rarely has, like, the rarely, rarely is on screen. And then, like, when she is on screen, it's fantasies that he's having of singing and dancing with her or having a, a talk show with her. He has a fantasy where it's like Sonny and Cher, but it's not like he's having actual real life interactions with her character or anything like that because she's outside. And he's in prison, so they don't really have interactions with each other except what they had before, before, you know, the bullshit. She, oh yeah, uh, how they got separated in the first place is because during one of their movie nights, she decided to start a fire, and then they were outside fucking day singing and dancing, and and the media is all going crazy for this because they're all like, oh, she he has a girlfriend, and they're interviewing her, and she says that, oh, we're gonna run away together and build a mountain, and everybody's like, what does that mean? Um, it's fucking stupid. Fucking stupid. At one point, Lee goes to visit him in jail, and uh, she tells him I'm pregnant. And fucking, and he gets all scared, but she starts singing that song, and he starts singing it back and shit and whatever. I, I like that scene a lot. And she's, you know, they're behind the fucking uh, the shield or whatever when they go visit uh, prisoners and shit. Finally, something fucking exciting happens in the movie. He fires his lawyer because he snaps when everybody's making fun of him in court and calling him a loser. And he fires his lawyer and he says, I'm going to represent myself. And the judge allows it. And they allow him to go get his clown suit and put on fucking makeup and shit. And he starts interviewing this that fucking short dude from the first movie. And he's doing like this fucking Cajun accent. Like if he's a lawyer, like, well, I said. I thought it was going to get interesting and then it, it went nowhere. He interviewed that one person and then Harvey Dent's all like, oh, the defense, the, 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 the prosecutor rest. And then Joker's all like, the defense rest. That's all, folks. And everybody claps and cheers. And I was like, man, they had so much potential. If you were going to let him be his, like, defend himself, he could have done all this crazy stuff. And he didn't. And uh, after the shenanigans in the courtroom, he, they take him back to jail. And uh, Brendan Gleeson is one of the guards. And he's so good in this fucking movie. I, that guy's always a fucking top-notch actor. But they beat the shit out of him and they rape him. Because all of a sudden, he had been confident. He's acting like the Joker now and making jokes and laughing. And the guards didn't like that. And so they fucking beat the shit out of him and they rape him. So the next day, it's the closing argument. He fucking, you know, because now because he got raped and I guess they raped the Joker out of him. So when he goes to give his closing arguments, he's all sad and he's all Arthur. And he just says, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not the Joker. I'm just Arthur. And then they find him guilty for all the murders. All of a sudden, there's a huge explosion. A car bomb explodes outside of the courtroom because some of the crazies, nobody even knows who the fuck they were. Just some of the crazies did it. Arthur takes a while to get up and, and walk around and you hear the ringing noise they do in the movies and shit. But once he's outside, there's some crazy guy dressed like the Joker finds him and he says, oh shit, it's you, it's you. Come on, we got to get you out of here. And he finds his friend. He's like, get in the car. And they take off. Fucking Arthur, finally, the, the ringing in his ear stops and he's finally no more fuzziness and he can hear. And he hears what they're saying and one of the guys says what are we gonna do now 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 that he's with us and the guy's like this is the beginning we're gonna burn the fucking city down and arthur's all like oh shit and so he opens the door and he runs out he runs out and one the guy jumps out and starts chasing him wait wait no don't run away and uh what ends up happening is he runs he goes to the stairway where he the, the first movie where he's singing and dancing and shit and harley quinn is there or lee 
don't know why I keep saying Harley Quinn. They only call her Harley Quinn one fucking time. Uh, Lee is there and she's got her makeup on and shit. And he goes up to her and uh, and he tells her like, hey Lee, there was an explosion at the courtroom and I'm, I'm, I'm out, I got away. We can run away together and start a life. And she's like not having it. She didn't say anything, you just see it in her face and she's just smoking a cigarette. And she finally finishes and she says, no, like I don't wanna be with you. Basically she breaks up with him. He's like, cause I heard your, your, your closing arguments and you say you're Arthur and you're not the Joker. And, and the dream was, you know, Lee and Joker. And I want that guy. And he says, but you're having my baby and we're going to be together. And uh, and he basically tells, she. I mean, I don't know. She basically tells him like, it's a lie. It's a dream. It was just a dream. So I think she was just making it up and shit. So yeah, she breaks up with him and she walks away and he's heartbroken. The cops, the cops arrive all of a sudden and he willingly goes with them and gets arrested. And then uh, the ending, the infamous ending that everybody's talking about. He's, you know, in jail with the, with the crazies and shit because they have the crazies separated from the other inmates. And he's in jail and shit. And there's this guy, some crazy guy there. And he's just always looking at him and just from far away and shit. Well, that guy comes out again at the end of the movie. He comes out throughout the movie, but you have to pay attention. He's there the whole time. Arthur gets a visitor at the end of the movie. And he stands up and he starts going, walking to, to the visitor. And this guy stops him and he says, hey, Arthur, can I tell you a joke? And he says, yeah, sure. And he tells him, a stupid long joke about a clown at a bar or some shit like that. But the punchline, he goes, you know what he what he got him? Because he says, get me anything you want, the clown tells him from the bar. And he goes, you know what he got him? He goes, he got him exactly what he deserved. And he shanks him, ka, 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 and pretty much kills him. He kills Arthur, and Arthur falls to the ground. And as the camera is zooming into his fucking face in the background, you see the guy, and the guy's laughing hysterically, and the guy starts slicing his own mouth. And it's very, you have to really pay attention, but it's in the background. And he's slicing his own mouth, kind of like the way Heath Ledger was, had his, his mouth, to make a smile. And kind of insinuating that that's the real Joker and shit. And Arthur was always Arthur. All he did was inspire crazies out there and someone eventually became the Joker. <sighs> what can I say? What can I say? It, it, it wasn't necessary to make a sequel. I get that's Warner getting getting getting, getting greedy. We made a billion dollars. Let's make some more money. You could have at least wrote, written a better story. You know, a better story would have been they escape and go on a rampage and shit. And they're killing all these fucking people, and at the end they get caught. And when they get caught, you find out it was Harley Quinn by herself doing everything, all the crimes and everything. All of this has been in her head because. She's been living a fantasy. She's been obsessed with him because she saw him on TV and shit. And then they take her to jail or the asylum. And at the end of the movie, she finally sees him and meets him and says, my name is Harley. And he says, my name is, you know, fucking Arthur or Joker. And it would have ended with them staring at each other. You know, that would have been a better fucking movie, a better story for sure. I don't know what the fuck he was thinking. I don't like it. I don't like it. And I wanted to because because everybody's been hating on it, man. I wanted to really give it a chance. And, and, and Gaga is a good actor and Joaquin is a good actor. And oh, they're all great. Brendan Gleeson and everyone in the movie's great. But the story sucks. And uh, it's it's a this is a ex perfect example of a cash grab. Anyways, uh, I think I've ranted too damn long about this movie. I wanted to keep it short, sort of. I don't know how long this is. I think the next movie that comes out, like I said, is probably Venom and shit. So... And that'll come out really early, like days before it releases here in the U.S. So I'll have that out for you as soon as I fucking see it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy are enjoying these. Thank you for not unsubscribing. Like I said, we're working to get back uh, reestablished. It's going to be a while, so be patient. Uh, but in the meantime, you're getting these videos, giving you some kind of content. And yes, Gomer Cow, we're playing Fortnite on Mondays and Tuesdays, 7.30 uh, and shit. Uh, <laughs> Gober was sending me messages a while ago. I love you. I love you, Gober. You're the shit. Anyways, uh, y'all take care, man. Have a good, have a good fucking rest of your day. Have a good rest of your week. Stay positive. Don't let life bring you down, man. Just remember, as long as you wake up the next day, fucking, you're blessed, bro. Um, there's people dying in the other side of the world, bro. Your problems are not that big and they're not that big of a deal, bro. You're paying your rent. You don't have money for this. It's not that big of a deal. There's fucking buildings being exploded on the other side of the world. The kids are dying and shit. People are scared to even go to sleep at night. So just, you know, think about that, man. We're blessed. 
you're blessed. Just remember that. Uh, take it easy. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.